What's up guys, Lucas Berg here. Today I'm making a kukri machete. I wanted to practice my kukri blade grinding because I want to make a bigger full size super thick kukri uh, down the line. Ordered the steel for it already, so I thought I'd give this a shot. And let me know <laughs> if you guys like me to talk during the videos or you just like the silent or uh, sounds of the machines and whatnot. But anyway, so here I'm just scribing the line. I like to scribe it on both sides with the blade or the drill bit that is the same thickness as the as the steel. Here I'm starting to grind the bevels. This is only 1 8 inch steel and I was shooting for a thin edge to kind of test uh, the strength and how hard I can keep the blade. I believe I tempered it at 450, which is a little higher than what I normally go, twice for two hours after the heat treating. I wanted to do like a little bit more than an inch on the bevel height and then smooth it in. I was thinking about doing wood sided against it. I wanted to try more handle wrapping. Here I'm putting on the clay for a hamon. I always still like to differentially heat treat the blades. I always kind of polish it out a little bit just to see what the hamon would look like, but I didn't really feel like polishing this one out since I was just gonna bang on it. Here I'm just setting up the heat treat oven. Set it up to go to 1475 for the 1095 steel. Here I'm pulling out, this was a big honking hot piece of metal. I think I'm going to switch to a vertical tube. Now here I've already tempered it twice at 450 for two hours each time. I'm just going to do a little bit of hand sanding. I, I just went up to like 250 and I didn't even get all the scratches out. Because this is just kind of a test blade really. I didn't want to put too much time and effort into it. Hand sanding is actually where I've injured myself the most. I've cut my fingers and my thumb and my hand. I even stabbed my hand one time. So I don't really like hand sanding. Here I'm using a new bluing compound that's called Clean Bore. It actually makes it a little bit blacker, I think, than the Super Blue. And then these are some projects old and new. Here it is all blackened out. This time I, I had zero cans and stuff. I only had two cans because the trash just came. So everyone wants us to see it chop anyway. It's a kukri. So we'll see how it goes here. Felt really good. Super thin edge. I did a paper test of after this, but it wasn't really paper. It was kind of like a thick catalog cover. But here it's biting in really good. I'm very pleased with it. No edge roll or anything. I know this is just like I don't know, some sort of board. I don't think it's pine. I think it's a little harder than pine, whatever it is. It's been in my garage for like four years. It was really hard. Also the first way that I used West Systems Poxy for the paracord handle wraps and it makes it rock hard. The other polyurethane was really hard but finally picks them up it's really expensive but it's worth it I think. I did a double Turk's head knot, one for the hand guard and one for the rear guard. Where like your hand would set to when you're chopping. And then here's that paper I was talking about. Um, we took the trash out and all of our big junk paper bin I threw away yesterday, so this was the best I could do. Uh. 
And then this was the other thing I wanted to test, um, the tip, just doing a tip test where I'd stab it in and I'd bend it over. And there was no tip deformation or anything. I missed a few times though. Just like that. But overall, I'm real happy with this. Maybe I'll make some machetes, some other blade shaped machetes. I really like how this one came out. And if you like this video, you like all my videos, hopefully, <laughs> consider subscribing and likes. Supposedly they help. And um, I'll try to keep making videos. I hope you keep watching. Thanks.